Okay, for those of you that don't live in a cold climate, I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy cold plunge without using a chest freezer. So let's walk through the equipment. What we're gonna need is some half inch polyflex hose, an active aqua 250 gallons per hour pump, an active aqua one tenth horsepower chiller, the most important thing, a rubber ducky thermometer, and then we're gonna need a 110 gallon stock tank, which you can pick up at pretty much any local hardware store. And all this can be picked up on Amazon. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is hook up everything and then give you a walkthrough and then test it all out. Let's get this done. Okay, as we can see, super easy setup. Basically, we have the chiller over here. We have the pump running to the chiller and then the chiller running back in here. So uh, obviously when you get in here, you want to shut everything off. And to be honest, I'll actually take the pump out of here and all the hoses out. Last thing you want to do here is uh, electrocute yourself. So don't do that. Anyways, I'm going to let this water warm up because right now it's still super cold. I actually just took my first cold plunge in it at, at uh, 48 degrees. So uh, yeah, I let it warm up a little bit so I can actually give it a good test. I'll show you what happens. Okay, I don't think that these things are actually gonna warm up. It's still at 50 degrees right now. So I figure, hey, let's give it a proper test. Let's see if we can drop this thing down to 40 degrees. So let's check the temperature. Right at 50. Okay, and first we plug in the pump. We wanna make sure there's water flowing through the chiller before we turn it on. Okay, flowing. Let's plug in the chiller. As you can see, I have this set point down here at 40 degrees and it's currently sitting at 50. So that's good that we have confluence between the two measurement devices. Let's power it on, see what happens. Okay, I've been running the cold plunge for about three days now and I'm happy to say that it stays right around 42, 43 degrees. Here, I'll show you on the chiller display. Um, I found this temperature to be perfect for me. I am, to be honest, I don't notice a huge difference between the 35 degrees I was doing outside and the 42, 43 degree in here. So um, super happy with the build. Uh, it wasn't too pricey, right around $600 for the whole thing. Uh, fortunately for me, like I said, I had all the parts here. So um, just so you know though, I live in Colorado and I'm in a basement. So this, the base temperature in this room is like 65 degrees. So if you're in a warmer climate, the one-tenth horsepower chiller is not going to do you well. You're going to probably have to step it up to a quarter or a half. So the cost might go up a little bit when it comes to that. So um, anyways, I'm really happy because <laughs> outside is one degree right now and it'd be miserable to get in the cold plunge. So I'm about to do my, uh, I think, fourth cold plunge in this since I built it. So let's get it done. Anyways, happy plunging.